Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial. And today we're going to do a little bit of an overview of the tube synth instrument that comes with MPC 2.4. Now, um, you can use it in standalone and you can also use it on the desktop. So we're going to do separate tutorials for each just to show you uh, how you can navigate it with, with both, basically. Um, so to kind of start, what I want to do is I want to get rid of the uh, plugin just to show you from scratch how to load it all right and I'll go ahead and rename this tube synth all right cool so what you want to do when you want to add tube synth is you want to add a plug-in program so let's say you're on a drum program starting out go over to plug-in plug-in one is going to be the default you're going to go down to where it says none you're going to go and click on MPC expansions air music technology because it's an air music plugin and you're gonna see the new synths that they gave us we're gonna go down to tube synth and just like that tube synth is loaded so let's go ahead and test the audio alright so as you can hear it's loaded up but when you wanna edit some of the uh, the sounds or the patches excuse me you can either click this right here and it'll give you this funky kind of setup or what you should do is click program edit boom all right so you click program edit and now you see what the full VST looks like and it's really 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 dope all right so we start here right and we see we have two different oscillators both of them are set at saws you have the uh, octave button right here the fine detune and this quad button which basically changes the amount of voices that are attached with the uh, the oscillator so when quads on it goes from a two voice to a four voice basically right so it sounds like this quad all right so if you note the difference it sounds a little bit fuller when you put quad on as well okay so let's go ahead and mess with the oscillators a little bit you can literally take your mouse and just go like this right you can just so now it's a pulse let's go ahead and mess with the second oscillator all right let's mess with the octave button sub oscillator let's turn that to a square all right so just like that it's a little bit weird right now the sounds a little bit weirder than we had it before Okay, just playing around for a bit. All right, and now you have some of the EQ controls that come with the oscillators. So you can mess with the gain, you can mess with the frequency, the drive, the uh, key track as well. And you have oscillator mixers for basically how, how much you want of that particular oscillator to come in on the sound. So you could turn this all the way down. And none of oscillator ones coming in, turn it back up. And some of that bottom's back, turn back this. A little of that sharpness is gone. All right, and same thing with these other ones too. Then you also have a low pass filter. So this is how much of the sound is being filtered out if you turn it up. See, a bit more sharper and a lot grainier. Turn it back down. All of the graininess that comes with that high end is basically gone now. You can mess with the saturation as well. Let's go back to C3. Turn it back up. All right. And same thing here. You have the uh, filter envelope and the amp envelope that you can deal with. So you can mess with the attack. Let's really drastically mess with the attack. See, now you can't hear the sample. Let's pull it back some. Yeah. See, notice it sounds a lot different now, too. And you can mess with the destination of the pitch envelope. So we're just doing some fun stuff now, just messing around with it. But it looks like you can route it to different places too. And you can also choose the, sh uh, the shapes of your LFOs, just like you could with a regular synth. So you can do everything from sine to square. Let's see if that... Let's see... 
So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different things that you can really do with the synthesizer. It's actually pretty cool. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I mean, basically you can mess around with the voices a little bit more. You can switch this from four to two. You can turn the glide all the way up, which will do something like this. And as you see, you have these different effects right here too. It looks like chorus is not is the only one that wasn't activated. But you can turn off the delay, you can turn off the reverb. So now the sound's a little bit more flat, has a little bit more room, and now it's definitely spaced out, right? And these are the effects that uh, pretty much come with tube synth. So yeah, this is how you use it, um, the bare bones. Again, you wanna load up the plugin from here, MPC expansions, Air Music Technology Tube Synth. Then you don't want to do it from here because it gets harder to it gets harder to navigate. This is specifically how it would look, you know, just on your desktop. You're not going to see this on your MPC Live. So instead of going here, you want to go to Program Edit. And once you go over to Program Edit, you'll see the real beauty that this plugin comes with, and you'll be able to edit things easily from there. So with that said. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to hit us up at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. And if you check in the description, you'll see that we have a free template for anybody who's a beginner at the MPC 2.0 software. And if you want to download that, all you have to do is click the link. With that, we will see you next week. Peace.